Hmm. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 20th of the Leaco May Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, yeah, and it looks like we're doing new contests, or maybe not new, but like more recent contest farms now, huh? This is only like six months ago or something, or, or, every, or like seven months ago. Anyway, let's take a look at today's farm. Uh, yeah, I ran six miles today, took a nap. Man, I am old and everything is tiring. But hopefully today this farm will be not so bad. All right, let's see. Today we have 3355 zero away transformation. Um, oh yeah, and the reason why I said that I don't remember this farm at all. I just I just see that the numbers big, so it's just recent, right? But uh, but that's uh, and, um, that's all. But I still don't remember it because even though it was six months ago, because I don't know a lot of these farms are just not that memorable. Um, the the goal for me to have this video is not to be like, hey, look. Or at least as much as I can is not to be like, hey, look, I remember the solution, and let me just type it out for you because that would be a really silly and unnecessary video. So that does happen from time to time, but um, but uh, but yeah, but this one, I I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know what it's gonna ask, so we'll see. Okay, so you give an injury away nums of length n and two the away queries left right right. For each query, select a subset of index within uh, within the range. L and R in nums decrement the value in the select index by one. A zero array is the is an array where all elements are equal to zero. Return true if it's possible to transform nums after processing all the queries in an array, right? Okay. Oh subset of the index is okay. Mm, okay. So I mean I think this is like uh, in a greedy way, right? Uh, I think definitely because you can select as much as you can. So this is like, um, what you want to call it, difference away, right? Because basically what, what you want to do and what I what I want to do is just to bring up uh, my drawing technology. Uh, hang on. It's loading. Uh, uh, and hopefully I'm, yeah, the subset part I think makes this right. Because sometimes I... I you know, I do this live, right? Like, I'm not trying to, you know, and sometimes I make mistakes in reading, and then I end up explaining the wrong farm, which happens from time to time. But hopefully, you know, not as much as I, I, I you know, as, not, not that often, hopefully. Okay, but the idea here is that, okay, so you have some, you know, uh, 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 some numbers away, and I'm just making random numbers, right? And then now you have some, some queries, that just gives you like a subset and it could be any num subset, right? And the idea I think is just to, yeah. So then now in a way what you want is kind of like look at all these, all these uh, queries and then combine them, right? Here we have one segment, right? Here that we have two segments. Here we have three, uh, two, uh, one, and then one, right? So you have kind of that, and then now th this is basically how ma many times you can subtract from your uh, initial array. And of course, if you have zero or even just fewer, you don't have to use all of them because you can choose a subset. And for some subset of the query, you don't have to do all of them. So then as a result, it just becomes whether um, this sum of these segments um, dominate, if you will, the original uh, input array. And I think that's it. And of course, I assume, let me look at the, the constraints. Uh, I assume that, um, yeah, if you kind of do a for loop, right? If you do a for loop for every in the world to just kind of aggregate this, it would be too slow. Uh, otherwise, it's, I mean, Litco has some unnecessary problems. I guess maybe it is unnecessary, but it's just not an interesting problem where you just do like for loops and it'll be easy. So, okay. So how do you solve this? The idea here is that, okay, with this visualization, right? Let me uh, redraw this real quick. With this visualization, I think it should be, you know, a, a, a good idea is that now it's just collect them with sweep line, right? Um, there are a number of ways you can visualize or even implement this and thinking about this. But the idea that I have, uh, or it comes more natural to me, it's not like my I invented the idea. It's just that for each segment, you could treat them as two events, right? Like plus one here, minus one here, right? Plus one here, minus one here, plus one here, minus one here. And then now you have a sweep line 
that goes, okay, this is the sweep line, it collects this plus one, and then now it goes to here, and then now, so here would be plus one in total, here now would be plus two in total, and here it will be plus three in total, and here it would actually be minus two, so then it's just plus one in total, right? And that's basically the idea about th these differences, right? Um, and there are a couple of ways you can represent this data with like an actual array, you could have like a, a sorted defense type thing as well, but you know, <clears throat> that's up to you and here we will implement that right so then maybe we have like delta of the arrays we have this zero times n right and then for oops and then for query and you, the, the reason why i pause is just that you have to think exactly about what your indexes here mean right um so maybe i want to actually n plus one um because we calling that um all right let me bring it we're calling that the way that I drew it, and it is intentional, that these green lines are not in the element themselves, but bef in between the elements and in before and after the elements, right? Um, almost like at the comma, if you will. Um, and the reason is just that, yeah, it makes it unambiguous what the processing is on this one, on the indexing. But as a result, if you kind of look at these lines, then there'll be one more at the very end is what I mean. Right, because if you look at the space in between, we have n elements, then you're going to have n plus 1 um, dividers or, or borders, if you will. Right? And that's why you have to be like really precise about how you think about it sometimes if you don't want to ward off by ones. Anyway, and then here, you can do 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 do, and then here, right? Oops. And that's it. Right? That's it for the, the Dowdus setup. And then now we can just collect everything once, right? Um, and there are a number of ways you can do it, I suppose, but, but the way that I do it, it is usually with uh, just collecting it this way, right? For some variation. And then now that we know, um, yeah, and of course, if done correctly, the, the last element should be zero, of course. And then every other element, you can just kind of look at the previous divides thing. So it still kind of lines up, but it's easy to mess up. Still, right? So then here, um, you can write if num sub i is greater than delta sub i, then we return false. And I just want to um, say, yeah, return false. But I just want to say that these i's are not the same, right? I mean, they're the same offset, but they're not referencing the same thing. Um, and yeah, if you kind of bring up the visualization, right? Uh, it just so happens that we are comparing them, change the colors. Uh, we're comparing num sub i which is here and delta sub i which is this line right and then next to each other and they'll always be if you kind of move them in uh, lockstep but and the reason why i pointed out like that is because that's how people make off by once is that they just kind of mix them together in their head without this kind of position right in any case yeah that's that's it 1876 day streak yay um that's all i have right um this is linear time linear space think the it, I think I don't have to explain that one where right? you just take a look. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think. How did I do previously? Well, I guess I did it basically the same idea. <laughs> exactly the same codex. So I called it Delta. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, you can watch me. Oh, wait, what? No, this is not a contest. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.